that move a couple to the left, and there's our T piece. Put that here, and down one. A couple of these here, and we want to cap it off properly so we can go look right up. Nope, there we are. That's this one right here. And we'll put that there. And there's another tile on here somewhere that I don't remember where it is, but I used it already. So we'll go way up here for this wall right here. And we'll copy that because that's, uh, you can see that over the blue there, there's a bit more of an edge on the left and right side, but like it won't tile properly. But in this case, we don't want it to. We want those hard edges. And we'll make all these solid. So now we got a little partition there. And we'll do some more overlay. Effects. We'll put a couple beds down here. We'll let the player walk behind the headboard by putting it on the overlay layer. So we'll go up there and we'll move a couple to the right, a couple down. There's the headboard of the bed. We'll put one here and put one here, here, and here. You can see the effect with the bottom bottom half of the cursor brackets there go behind there. We'll, we'll let Bowie down here soon enough. And we'll go back to the background layer. Go down a bit. And table. Yep, there we go. Put the bottoms of the beds. Make them solid with X. And what else does this room need? I need a weapon rack. Grab that. It's on the far left column here. That's the start of the weapon rack. Put that there. Down one, down one. Press S to go down on the tile set. Press down on there. Make some tiles. And we'll go back up here above the jail tiles and get some swords. We'll put those here and here. We'll get some armor. Get some armor down. And it's looking alright. Let's have Bowie take it for a spin. How does Bowie get down here? Bowie needs some events. So we'll press E. Switch modes. This is uh, terrain editing mode. Uh, Looks kind of chaotic, but this isn't a, uh, it's not a battle map, so the terrain doesn't matter too much. But you can see there on the, way on the top left, where it says current tile, you crawl around this is the same way you do with uh, other tiles. You can hit left and right to go from smooth to rough, to forest, to hills, to water, to mountains, background is smooth again. And yes, my programmer art is that bad. Anyway, hit E again. Go into event editing mode. You can see events on the map with the big bold E. And we're going to start by copying this event. Since this event we want to keep. This is the one that lets us out of this particular room. Place it with space like we do everything else. And what's next? We want to switch the entry point from upstairs to go here instead of the jail. So we'll note here that the, our target is uh, 3216. So, we want to make a new event. We make a new event by pressing R. R will open a new window, and that is an event script from my last draft, but this is appropriate because this is actually what we want. We want 3216, though. I'll tweak that. So, quickly, we'll just go over scripts. We'll, I'll probably have a blog post about scripts again at some point, but. We want a, the play sound script, so we'll hear the player walking up steps, and we're going to warp to 3216 on the map castle and facing the right. Now we'll hit Control S to save this, close that, and if I press home to leave editing mode, we'll fly back over to where Bowie's parked, and if we go down these steps, there you go. Wait, I'm a dummy, I didn't actually place that event. So we'll go back over here to event mode. We'll replace that with space and go back to Bowie. Now we're downstairs. All right, let's look at our hard work. You can step behind the beds. It's a nice cool little effect. Rock around under here, and you can see he's partially obscured by the top of the wall there. So that worked out pretty well. And let's go back into editing mode, do a little bit more detail work. Let's put some, let's copy some other events. So we'll go back downstairs, 
and what we want. Uh, we'll put a barrel down here. So we'll go to the overlay layer, layer one, and a couple over. Nope, not too far. One down. Put a couple barrels here. Make them solid. Go into event editing mode. We can crawl around on the event mode like this and see the titles of the different events. Empty barrel. Pop down a couple there. If we wanted to edit empty barrel, we could press F to open an existing script. It identifies itself as such at top here as FPC script, empty barrel. And dialog window. Though we looked in the barrel, it was empty. And the little caret here signifies it should uh, put up that little pause triangle. We're not going to make changes to this, so we can just close out of here. Hop out editing mode. So we look in the barrel. It was empty. Yes, yes indeed it was. That's the nice thing about having the in-game editor. It's very easy to quickly iterate. Uh, the downside of that is if you're playing and you're not careful, you may accidentally save the map in a state you didn't want. So with great power comes great responsibility. We'll hit home to go back into editing mode. And we'll go back to events. So we've got the armor stand. I'm going to plunk that down there. Weapon rack, put that there. Come back over here. Yes, they do. Now, if I wanted to put some NPCs down here, those actually have to be done uh, purely through scripts. I'll open up the existing script for this map and just show you guys how that works. Oh, hey, Fraps, how are you? All right, this is the main uh, main scripts for startup and for items. We'll get to that later. And we'll go to the map script. And in the map script, we want to go to the castle map. And we want to go to the scripts for this map. And we'll go to the M script. It's the map script. And all of our actors are in here. So, much more complicated script here, but you can see we go into actor setup mode, then we start plunking down actors. And we got uh, the actor. Here, his name is a Chancellor. He's an NPC. That says what team he's on, so we don't uh, confuse him for a player or an enemy. He has no class. He's classless. He's not a swordsman or anything like that. He's uh, If he were in combat, he'd follow human mobility, which is pretty standard. He's got crap for stats, but no one will see them. He uses the Chancellor BMP. Uh, he has a face, but he shouldn't, but that's just a bunch of copy-pasting. Uh, he would start on 50, 50 across, 39 down, and he faces down. And that's uh, how you set up actors. And since he is actor... Uh, Actor 0, if we want to see Actor 0, 0, go to that script. We can look at, uh, yep, Actor 0, 0. And he'll pop a dialog window that says, King is upstairs meeting with the generals now, will not be holding court today. With a pause, come back again tomorrow if you must seek with him. So, right now, actors are all placed with scripts. But eventually that will be in the, uh, in the editor here, or perhaps a new... New complete and total overhaul of the editor might be more appropriate because I could definitely see mouse input being uh, really useful for that. Anyway, I think that's enough for this time around. I'll be making another video to show off uh, the other big thing I've been working on. So, see you next time.